Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use track templates in Reaper. Now track templates differ from project templates as they're based on tracks instead of projects. Whereas you might want to save an entire project to use again as a template, a track template, we could just choose one or just a few to recall all those track settings. So it's going to ignore all the tempo and project settings from the project you have opened. So let me give you an example of some uses for this feature. Let's say we wanted to create a piano pad and make a new track over here, name it piano pad, maybe give it a color, something like this, set up the input for MIDI, MIDI, USB, MIDI keyboard, and then put an instrument plugin on the track effects. I'll choose the instruments right here and choose this plugin for a piano sound. And it sounds like this. And I want to blend it with a synth or a pad. So let's choose another instrument to put on top. I'll choose this one right here called Crystal. Then we'll choose a preset under Pads called Wider Pulse. And then to blend it with the piano, let's bring down the volume of this plugin right here to about 30%. Once you hear that. And let's say we like this sound and we want to use it again. Instead of just saving the presets, we also want to save the track that we set up. So we should save it as a track template. Just select the track, go to the track menu, and choose Save Tracks as Track Template. And that opens up this dialog. Where we could save our track templates in the Track Templates folder. We'll name it Piano Pad and save it. And now, if we happen to be in a project where we want that sound, we could just go to the Track menu, insert Track from Template, and then just choose it from here Piano Pad. And it opens up just like we saved it. Or we could also just right click over here, insert track from template, and choose it from here. So it's a great way of recalling our tracks so we can add them in different projects. Let me give you another example. I have a project set up here. We just recorded a live session using some drums, bass, guitars, and vocals. And we can see the effects that I set up if we open the mixer. We can see right here, I have a compressor on each track and an EQ with their settings, along with the pans and volumes for each track. And we're sending to different effects right over here. And we could save all of this and import it to a different project if you want to record the same way. Now this project already has some audio, but we don't need to save that with the track template. So let's select all the tracks, right click, save tracks as track template, give it a name, live recording session, and notice down here we can include the track items and the track envelopes. But like I said, we don't want to do that for this. We just want to bring in the tracks. So we're not going to choose these checkboxes. Then we can save it. And any time we want to bring in all those tracks, we can just right click over here, insert track from template, and just choose it right here, live recording session. And that brings it all back in exactly as we left it. But you'll notice. There's no audio imported because we didn't click those checkboxes. But we'll get back to that in a bit. Now, let's say we just wanted to save the drums for this. We could just select the drums and the drum reverb right here and just save those as a track template. Right click, save tracks as track template, 
give it a different name, live drums session. And again, if we want to import those tracks, just right click up here, insert track from template, and just choose it right here, live drums session. And it imports those tracks along with the effects return, but not the audio. And we can see in the mixer that it's still saved our send. So we can send the drum reverb to the effects return, and it all gets saved and recalled with the track template. Now, in my setup, I already saved a whole bunch, which we could see if I right click over here, insert track from template, and all mine are right here. There's a bunch of single ones down here, and I created some folders up here. I have a bunch of mixing templates over here for bass, drums, and effects, some sequencers and strings and synths. But let's take a look at my drums, acoustic live drums with multiple outputs, which opens up like this, where this track has all the samples right here from Resamplematic 5000, and they're all being bussed to individual tracks over here. So if I play my kick, it shows up on this track, my snare over here, my hi-hat over here, my toms over here, and my cymbals over here. But it took a while to set this up, so saving it as a track template saves us a lot of time because we can import it just like this. Right click, insert track from template, go to drums, and choose it right here. And it opens up just like this, ready to go. Now there's one other thing I wanna show you. Let's say we're working with sound effects. Let's drag in a sample right from here and drop it, and that creates a track right here, and let's hear what this sounds like. Now, if we wanted to import this along with the track or any processing we did to it, we could use track templates. But before we do that, I want to change the sound. I want to add some volume automation so it fades a bit and is shorter. Hold Shift and create some points and fade this out. And let's say I wanted to save that so we can import it to another project. Let's give this a different color, something like this, and then save it, right click, save tracks as track template. We'll give it a name, sound effects, but this time we're gonna select these checkboxes down here because we want to include the audio item, and the envelope or automation that we created. So then we can save this, and all of that will be recalled. So let's say we're in a different project, and we want to import that sound. We just right click over here, insert track from template, and then just choose it. And then it imports the track, along with the audio and the automation. But there's one other feature that goes with this. Let's say we're in a project and we want to add the effect later on in the song. Let's say we want to place it right here. By default, it's going to put the sound effect at the beginning, unless we choose this option right here, offset template items by edit cursor. If we choose this and we import it, it's going to place that sound effect right over here wherever we place the cursor. So right click, insert track from template, choose sound effects, and it imports that track along with the item and the automation right where our cursor was placed. So it just saves us that one extra step. But as you can see, track templates are one of the most powerful features in Reaper, where we could save one or many tracks and just import them 
to any project we want. So that's pretty much it. That's track templates in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.